What's the dead ceiling anyway? What, what, people talk gloom and doom. It's the end of the fiscal cliff. Before World War I, Congress used to pass a bill for every single purchase that the government wanted to make. But in World War I, they were started buying lots of planes and building lots of tanks. And Congress got tired of having to pass a bill for every little tank that they were going to build. So Congress said, we're just going to set a limit that the Treasury can spend. And then when it gets to that limit, they can come back to us and we'll raise the limit. So raising the debt ceiling only means the country will be able to pay bills for things that have already spent. The Treasury Department can't you know, do anything more to prevent the United States from breaching the debt ceiling, in which case it's then def in default. And in default is really a disaster for the U.S. economy. In the past, raising the debt ceiling was routine. Since the 1950s, Congress has always passed it, and every president has signed it. President Reagan did it 18 times. George W. Bush did it seven times. It became a problem for the party in power because it was very easy as the U.S. debt started to grow for politicians to say, well, I'm not going to raise the debt ceiling. And it was very easy for the opposition party to make that case. And it, and it increasingly has become a vehicle for politicians to force big changes on the federal budget. Uh, I urge you to raise the debt limit before you leave for the summer. Uh, we can all discuss how we cut spending in the future and how we deal with uh, the budgets going forward. His preference is to see the debt ceiling raised clean. I think I've made it clear that my preference would be to try and add some spending reforms. Mulvaney sees the debt ceiling as an opportunity to force uh, important changes in the budget that he would like that most members of Congress don't want to have happen. But because the debt ceiling is so important, maybe they would swallow and accept some of those changes because the debt ceiling has to be passed. So the debt limit is really an artificial device that uh, has been around for a century, uh, but uh, it only recently has it really become such a political football that it actually begins to possibly affect the fate and credit of the United States.